some breaking news off the top. Hundreds of teens flooding into downtown Chicago tonight, smashing car windows, trying to get into Millennium Park, prompting a major police response. Within the past few minutes, shots were fired near the corner of Madison and Michigan. Now, we had a news crew on the scene, but they had to move because of safety concerns. I was there a little bit earlier, about an hour and a half ago, and saw police escorting tourists and visitors to their cars in the Millennium Park parking garage. The crowd was trying to get into Millennium Park, but there are checkpoints that are not allowing anyone under the age of 21 who's not with an adult to get in. So they're massing across the street on the other side of Michigan Avenue. I spoke to a woman whose car was smashed by people jumping on the windshield. She says the crowd began beating her husband as he sat in the driver's seat. He's now been sent to Northwestern Memorial Hospital. I also talked to a woman, a Chicago native, who was appalled by what she saw. The situation continues to develop at this hour. As we mentioned, we have a reporter on the scene, but there are some security concerns. Fox 32's Nate Rogers is on Michigan Avenue in a protective position. Nate, can you tell us what you see right now? Yeah, that's right, Dane. Um, um, as you just mentioned, we're downtown on Michigan and Randolph. Um, I'm actually probably a block away from a lot of where the chaos has originated. Right now, Chicago police are trying to clear Michigan Avenue, at least from um, Randolph until maybe three or four blocks south on Michigan. Um, very active scene indeed. Hundreds of officers are working this investigation. Um, there are reports unconfirmed by Chicago police of multiple people People shot at Michigan and Washington, also Michigan and Wabash. The Chicago Fire Department, we're told, um, is here along with paramedics and Chicago SWAT teams all assisting in this investigation. Now, the chaos here downtown began or erupted just before 8 p.m. Several hundred young people traveling in groups, kids seen jumping barricades into Millennium Park, also jumping on top of cars. Other reports indicated large groups trying to force their way into the Art Institute. This appears to be one of those teen takeovers um, that we saw last year publicized widely on social media, attracting thousands into the downtown area as well as to Chicago area beaches. The teens are seen with their cell phones out, um, Bluetooth music speakers blasting, dancing while recording videos, hoping that they'll go viral. Now, I'm back out here live really just within the last 10 minutes or so ago, um, my photographer and I, Raphael, we heard at least four gunshots while we were standing at Michigan and Washington. We ran um, along with another TV news crew just to get to safety. Maybe five minutes after that, we heard even more gunshots. And so right now, Chicago police are trying to clear this area. If you um, can see from where I'm standing right now, gridlock traffic indeed. I mean, um, Chicago police here in great numbers along with the Chicago Fire Department. Paramedics, we understand that SWAT teams are here as well. A lot of folks are being rerouted um, to nearby um, public transportation just so they can get home. We also have seen police trying to escort tourists back into their hotels. Um, Chicago police are working right now to get a handle on all of this. We haven't received any updated information on if there have been any victims um, associated with any of this. That is the latest here in downtown Chicago. Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago. Nate, just to clarify, I want to ask you quickly, uh, you're standing at the corner of Michigan and Randolph. Is Michigan Avenue shut down right now? Yes, sir, at least from our, standards, our vantage point, um, Dave. But keep in mind, I'm... Uh, Michigan and Randolph is probably 500 feet from where I am. I'm a little bit um, further into, you know, cl closer back towards the lake, if you will. We really just had to get out of the way because the, the teens were running, officers were running. Um, from from our vantage point, you can't even, I don't even think there's there's traffic flowing along Michigan Avenue because um, the, the, the cars are stopped right now. Yeah, it looks from that shot as though at least uh, Michigan Avenue has been shut down. Nate, Stay safe. Thank you very much for that report. My name is Larry Johnson, and I've been a real estate broker since 2005. I started off, um, I started off in construction, uh, building homes, and uh, 
and then I got into selling homes. Needless to say, um, you know, I enjoyed that a little bit better. Um, what makes uh, Atlanta unique is, you know, I love people and the culture. It's got that southern hospitality. It's, it just feels like, um, it feels more like home to me than um, any any other place I've ever lived. There's tons of things to do with the different sports teams. You got the Braves and the Hawks, and uh, it's just it's just uh, just so much to do here, and a very rich history here in Atlanta. Uh, I would say what has been most rewarding about real estate is um, helping folks achieve their dream of home ownership. You know, um, it's 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 one of those things when when someone looks at you and and there's a genuine appreciation there um, after they receive those keys and you know they're knowing that there is a place now for them and their family um, it, it's just a feeling that you know you can't even describe it you know that that this person is making probably the biggest purchase they'll ever make in their life and they're trusting you with that process when it's all said and done I want my clients to know that I'm doing my due diligence and that the trust is not misplaced Larry Johnson is Atlanta's realtor and a realtor you can trust. Whether buying, selling, or renting a home, call Larry Johnson at 470-940-5551.